Hola, Reisirinas. I pray today that I find you well rested as always, living with great expectation and excitement for the future. Um, I'm going to open in prayer right quick. Um, today I did um, decide to come live a little later because I had a busy day. Um, but today I... I just really pray that whoever is under the sound of my voice leaves forever wiser, leaves um, just greater than what you came. And what do I mean in greater? I mean that you leave this um, live with a greater faith, um, just a better, like a, a desire to want to know what God has for you, to want to know who God is. I don't know who it's for, but there's someone that is under the sound of my voice that's listening today that has questions. And I just pray that... Um, today's scriptures they just speak to you in a way in a manner in a form in a fashion that leaves you with revelation that leaves you with a deeper desire of wanting to know more about yourself and the only way you can do that is to learn about your creator and that is god so i pray that i die to the flesh and i thank you um i pray that i die to the flesh and i speak to the power of the holy spirit and i thank you for your time and i pray that you do leave um greater wiser than what we found you today so today we're reading from luke 13 26 to 30 and um i'm gonna begin it's 30 it's 13 26 to 30 <clears throat> and we are in October, so I pray that y'all are excited with the transition of the seasons. And just knowing that we're in a new month, I always get excited for new months. Um, I was going to go live Saturday, but I was extremely busy. Um, it, it's just been, it's been crazy busy. I'm just telling you, when you have seasons and you feel that you're not that busy, get rest. Because I would tell you that as the seasons change and transition, every season is different. If you have that time to rest you know, take advantage and get your rest because I will tell you that the next season can be completely, extremely busy. So um, here we go, 13, 26 to 30. Then you will say, then you will say, we ate and drank in your presence and you taught in our streets. But he will say, I tell you, I don't know you or where you're from. Get away from me, all you workers of unrighteousness. Mm. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth in that place. When you see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets in the kingdom of God, but yourselves thrown out, period. They will come from the east and the west, from the north and the south, and recline at the table in the kingdom of God. Mm. You know, that scripture, the gnashing of teeth, I will tell you that I, I've always heard pastors speak on it and then like i knew that like it's been i think it's in the bible a couple of times maybe twice i think from what i you know studied but it's always scared me because i i truly know like gnashing of teeth it i mean it's like <laughs> i'm gonna talk about like when i remember when my kids would like hit themselves my daughter would always say oh he's you know oh he's biting the air it's like when you have an extreme pain and you're like ow, ow, ow but like there's not much coming out of your mouth and it's painful, right? Because you can't even like cry or you can't even like speak. You're just in, in excruciating pain. And what I, I, gnashing of teeth, that's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of like, it's, 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 it's a pain. A gnashing of teeth is just, I don't know, to me, it's just, it just sounds like excruciating pain. Um, and whatever it is that if the Lord is, you know, and if you're going through things in your life and you don't understand, like you think that. You know, I don't know if this is the hand of God or I don't know if this is the enemy because I will tell you, I have been there many, many times. And there is times where God calls gnashing of teeth. Just in the scripture, God said, you know, there will be gnashing of teeth, you know, because there's people that they just feel that living unrighteously is sometimes just better for them. And it's basically making themselves a ruler over their life, which that's another video. I'm not going to get into that right now. However, I'm going to read what my grandmother wrote about it um she did write we have to be genuine believers and have a relationship with jesus like he said strive to enter through the narrow gate that was yesterday um that was uh friday's word um we need to stay close to jesus and in his righteousness not by our own works but through his grace and mercy her prayer is lord help us to strive to enter your kingdom we don't want to be one of those you said who never knew you help us help us 
we want to enter your kingdom and her application is striving always i'm going to have to cut today's word short because um i don't know if you can hear my grandson is over there crying gnashing of teeth going on back there but what she's saying is to strive always to please god strive always to live righteously and whatever that may be, you know, I truly believe that we have conviction in our hearts. And when we don't have conviction, that means you've strayed really, really far from God. So when I have conviction, I'm truly thankful for it because there's some of us that are living life unrighteously. We're living so much like just idling whatever the world has to offer or just making ourselves ruler over our lives. And when you don't have conviction anymore, I would tell you that's seriously a scary place to be because God does have order. He does call us to live in order. He calls us to live his way that pleases him and when we don't do those things there is gnashing of teeth it could be through experiences like it could be through uh pain i truly believe everything is through experiences um and i just pray that you know whatever it is that, that you have if you don't have conviction i just pray that you surrender your life to god so therefore you can have it because i will tell you there's things that i do and there's things that i want to do and it's like if i do them and i know that god has called me not to do them i have great great conviction to where i feel bad to where like I need to make it right and because if you continue living like that and you don't have conviction it's just a very scary place to be because there's a point in your life where God will just let you live the way you want and and not really like the way you want yes the way you want but where he would just take his hand off of you and let you live the way that you want and choose the, the things that you want and just kind of just take his hand off of it and be like okay do you boo? you don't want me you don't want you know the, my you don't want my commandments you don't want to honor that then you can't get to the promises that i have put in the bible for you so in jesus name i thank you for your time invested today i am wearing the sarah lash which is um released this month they're already uh the pre-orders were nine dollars each for the lashes now they will be ten dollars same day local deliveries god bless y'all thank you for your time that you invested i pray that today you left wiser than what you came and um this too shall pass god is at work i'll see y'all tomorrow god bless y'all abundantly um and these are the lord and esme beauty holy lashes i gotta go got my grandson over there gnashing teeth in jesus name be blessed i'll see y'all tomorrow bye